it's Monday, and the best way to start the week is obviously with some sugar art. And I'm joined by Cakes for Causes, Liz Hogg and Tori Cranford, to teach me how to brush embroidery a cookie. And ladies, Good I have morning. to admit, yeah. you're putting a lot of trust in me lately. The, the level of activities it. just keep going up and up and up. We have to keep the challenge or you'll get <laughs> bored. We have to do that. Yes, we have to or that. I can continue to just destroy cakes and cookies. But you can still eat them, though. <laughs> That's true. Right, <laughs> you exactly. can still eat them. Now, we um, start with just a regular sugar cookie. Okay. You can cut them any shape that you like. We start with flooding them like this. And just the way that that, um, that happens is you want to outline your cookie. Okay. Just really quick. And then you just flood it. And then you just what it? You flood it. Flood it. You flood it. Okay. Just like this. You do need a little bit of thinner royal icing, and the recipe is on our website. But you want to just flood it really quickly. Give it a, oh, and then look at a it, like, tap or two, and it will all settle in. I mean, this is a really rushed job, but right. that's how you get the cookies to look this way. Oh, okay. And then once this is dried, because if you touch them, they're, they're, dry, they're dry. Yeah, they're hard. So then you want to take... More of your royal icing, and I, won't, I don't cut these until it's time to use them because the icing dries in there. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to be doing is you can pipe a line. Okay. Okay, so you can draw. Start with a round cookie first. Yep. It'll be a little bit easier. Draw right around it. You can draw a flower shape. All right. Just like that. And you have a, a brush there on your left. And your little red solo party cup there. I love that. With some water. It's a little guy. Okay. And then you, you want to dampen your brush a little bit and you want to tap it on your paper towel so it's okay. not sopping wet. And then you just take the edge of the brush <gasps> and bring that icing in towards the center, any direction you want to go in. Once it starts to dry, you want to dampen your brush again. Oh, look at this. What did I tell you? You, you did tell I me did that this is going to be easy. I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention, though, in art class, I'm thinking. <laughs> well, in yeah. Maybe cooking class, baking class in high school. Why is this called brush embroidery? It just makes it look a little bit like a satin, a satin stitch, okay. which is used a lot in embroidery. And you oh. can just pull that in this way. You can do a quick circle like this once you have that outline there you can take another color if you want we can pipe uh, we'll pipe a leaf in the center of this flower that wasn't very well planned I like the purple it's a very vibrant color how do you get the dyes to, get, <laughs> um, to be so vibrant it's it's a gel color and you just add enough color to it until you get the shade that you like oh okay and Tori you're new to cakes for causes I am tell us about your experience so far this Today, I've, I've gotten to be with Liz for a few times when she's done cookies and stuff, but mm -hmm. this is my first official Cakes for Causes experience. This is, this this is it. This is it. It's her On debut. TV. It's her debut. I, yes. I live in Safford, so I get to travel over here and help out now. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is an experience you'll never forget. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I had to include her. Yes. Yeah, for she sure. She had to come. She had to come. So you just you can use any color. You can, um, we'll just do... A bunch of leaves over here, and you just pipe whatever shape you like. If you want to sketch something first, you can certainly do that with like an edible marker, so you're not freehanding everything. Okay. But edible you, marker. Yeah. You just want to make sure that you don't use a brush that's too wet, that's too damp. Ooh, I might be experiencing that right now, actually. Yeah. Might yeah. have gotten a little carried away. And well, you then, ladies are so busy all the time. Tell us what's going on. What's well, up with the our, schedule? our latest was yesterday afternoon. There was a taste of chocolate competition. <gasps> what? There taste was. Taste of chocolate? Yes, there was. Okay, tell and me more. We, we got first place in Celebrity's Choice for what we presented to the competition. Really? Yes, it was very exciting. Congratulations. Very exciting. Thank you. And what did you present? We had some um, spicy brownies, some habanero brownies. Oh. We had um, a couple of other um, chocolate treats that were there. But we're not quite sure what it was that cinched it. We had three things on our table. It doesn't matter what cinched it. You not cinched really. it. Yeah, we did. We did. And uh, we've also um, done the Candle Lighters Foundation prom for okay. kids with cancer. It's been like our third or fourth year that we've been doing that. Um, we've taken treats to the Air National Guard this past weekend. Okay. So we had those three events this past weekend. Um, and um, coming up, we have the Arizona Gives Day 
for donating to your your favorite nonprofit. I think it's April 9th in wow. two days. So you know. Any little bit helps. Five bucks goes a long way. It, Absolutely. it buys us eggs and flour. And, and we stuff. should say that you guys are always looking for donations as well. I know we talk a lot about what, how involved you are in the community, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. also need flour, eggs, sugar, all of and that. And about 95% of our donations go right back out to the community mm -hmm. to some nonprofit. It's wonderful. Yeah, and we all volunteer our time. We volunteer, you know, sometimes ingredients. Oh, don't worry about it. I, yeah. It's not a big deal. So. Well, you, you ladies yeah. are wonderful. Thank you so it's much for fun. joining us. Tori, welcome. Thank you. To not only the morning blend, but to Cakes for Causes as well. Thank you. All right, ladies. And to find out what events Cakes for Causes has coming up, you can call 303-7893, or you can check out their website, cakesforcauses.org. And make sure to visit their booth at the Humane Society's Puttin' on a Dog on May 2nd at the Hilton El Conquistador. That's actually Puttin'. I'm sorry. I was just going with the golf theme. <laughs>